guys, this is what we're doing today. I did my makeup and then I was like, yeah, that's it. We can just leave the hair. Haven't washed it. It's okay. Whatever. Uh, I'm doing a Q&A video. If you want to submit a question, if you have any questions that you want answered, say the same thing twice. Go to Ask FM. It is linked down below. I also ask for them sometimes on my Twitter, which is at Younging19. I also sometimes get them through Snapchat, which is Younging19. I also sometimes get them through Instagram, which is Younging19. Just go follow me on all of my shit linked down below. Great. Here we go. If you could live on another planet, which would you choose? One that had oxygen, uh, oh, actually, no, we had to do this uh, project in 8th grade where we had to live on another planet and make it sustainable, and me and my partner got 100%, and this was like one of those long projects where no one gets 100%, and we were so proud, but she was like an amazing graphic designer, and I was a really good planner, so we were going to live on Mars, and we were going to have like this bubble oxygen system, and we were going to have enough oxygen to sustain us for like three or four times that the spaceship would have to come back and go in case there were ever any issues and then we would have food shipped in and inside the oxygen bubble we would grow our stuff and have like our own little ecosystem and then the trees would produce oxygen and whatever. It was fantastic for a 13 year old to come up with and if that plan ever worked I would live on Mars. I've gotten this question so many times so I can only assume that the person asking really needs an answer to this question. If you fell for a guy only to find out afterwards that he had a foot fetish, would that be a deal breaker for you or would you have to reconsider your standpoint on hating people touching your feet in that specific case? I can't say specifically, I would say that I'm just not comfortable with people touching my feet at all. I'm not a big fan of like going in for pedicures and stuff. I'm not a big fan of... So the idea of someone touching my feet in a sexual way, that isn't something I'm into. So if I'm with someone who is having a foot fetish and we're falling in love, at this point he already knows that I don't like people touching my feet. So he has the power to consider that. I'm just not letting people touch my feet. I'll still be with him and he can watch whatever foot porn he wants to, but he's not getting near my feet. That's just... Feet gross me out, and I don't want it to, no. And then there's like more feet questions. If you had a boyfriend who liked tickling or licking your feet, would you let him, no, no, because I'm not comfortable with that. Like, it's great if that's something that gets you off, but if you aren't comfortable with it, you don't have to do it just to please your partner. The fan is on, so my hair keeps blowing into my face, so first of all, I'm sorry if you can hear that, and I'm sorry if all I do is like keep touching my hair, sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, there's this guy I'm good friends with, and we've, we always liked each other. I told him that I like him a lot and he told me he wants to be with me. However, he has a girlfriend and obviously doesn't want to cheat on her. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with that. What should I do? I mean, he has a girlfriend. He's in a relationship. He's happy with this person. He may want to be with you, but he's not. So I would just say you go and you be with someone else if you want to, or you can stay single, or you just live your life. But I wouldn't put all your eggs in this basket of something that just isn't going to happen anytime soon. And, you know, if it comes up where he wants to end this relationship and be with you, you know, you can cross that bridge when you come to it. I would just make sure that, you know, an appropriate amount of time has passed where he seems over it. You know, he, it, it's just, you know, you gotta make sure that it's a healthy starting point for the two of you to begin a relationship, especially because you are good friends and you won't want the friendship to be ruined just because you rush into something and, you know, someone isn't over something. So that is what I would say to you. Recently I had my first kiss and he told his friends I was a bad kisser. Now I'm scared to kiss anyone else. What should I do? I have been there. When I was 15 I had my first like makeout kiss and I heard later that he went around and told everyone that I was a bad kisser. Now I will say that I will take some blame because it was my first kiss. I will not take full blame because he shoved his tongue down my throat. So it's not the fact that you may be a shitty kisser, but overall, but the thing is like practice makes perfect. Like you can ask anyone that I've kissed recently, I'm a pretty fucking good kisser. So. I just wouldn't worry about it. You will get better. And just don't kiss someone who's gonna go around and talk to his friends about this shit because, like, it's no one's business. Okay, that is it for this QA. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me that you want me to answer, leave them in Ask FM or all of my other social media linked down below. I will see you all later. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Bye, guys.